Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Jenkins on a virtual machine running in Azure Cloud. Alright, so let's get started. So what we are going to do, we are going to provision a virtual machine running in Azure Cloud. You can definitely click on this link. If you want to understand how to create a VM in Azure Cloud, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is you need to have Azure account subscription. Once you have that, you should be able to create any resources in Azure Cloud. If you don't know, if you don't have any Azure uh, subscription, you can actually click on this particular link. This will help you to set up your Azure Cloud account. Okay. So yeah, so that is how you would create a VM. Once you have your VM created, obviously we need to open up port 8080 because that is a default port number for Jenkins. You just have to go to networking and then add inbound port rule you would be adding 8080 okay so once we have this port number 8080 configured and then we can go ahead and then uh, set up jenkins um, of course we have several videos in my youtube channel on uh, jenkins and all but this video talks about specifically how to configure jenkins on a virtual machine running in azure cloud okay all right so let's get started so this is my Azure account or Azure portal, whatever you call. Okay. So we are going to spin up a VM and then we are going to install Jenkins on that VM. And then of course, um, I would be uh, creating several videos on, you know, um, Spring Boot deployment into AKS cluster and whatnot that we will see on a separate video. All right. So let's get started. So click on virtual machines. So we want we wanted to create a virtual machine. So click on create Azure virtual machine. Okay. So I'm actually under pay as you go subscription. So depending on whatever subscription you have, you can select that and we need to create a resource group. Okay. So let me create a resource group. So I want to call as my RG and we need to give a name for our virtual machine. So I want to call this as my Jenkins VM and yeah, region. So you can select depending on wherever you are located. So I'm going to leave that and then the image. So I would like to choose Ubuntu server 22.04. Okay. So let me go with that and then I'm okay with uh, 64. That's fine. And then the sizing. So depending on again, right? the sizing uh, what I would recommend is one CPU and then maybe four gig but again depending on the requirement right so just for our demo purpose I think this is fine one CPU with two gig okay and we would like to connect using SSH keys okay so I'm going to select that option and then of course we have to give our username so again it's up to you you can give any username here right Jenkins user um, and then you know keeper so i would like to create ssh keys so you can give some name here so i can say uh, jenkins ssh key okay okay and then of course uh, we need to open up port 8080 that's the default port number so let's go with 22 and then once we provision a vm we will add the port number 8080 okay and then before i go too far Let's make sure a couple of things here. I think I'm okay with here. Networking. Um, this is fine. Okay, so I'm okay with the basic, at least for now. And then I would like to select this option. I want to delete the public IP whenever I'm actually, you know, deleting the VM. Okay, so let's select that option. And then let's go to management. I think I'm okay with here. For our demo purpose, this is fine. Let's go to monitoring. I don't think, you know, we need to have monitoring. So I'm going to disable this one for now. Okay. I think that's pretty much over there. Create. And then let's download the SSH keys. Okay. So my keys got downloaded. Perfect. So this will take uh, some time. The VM got created. So let me expand this. So as you can see here, this is the public IP. So the way we are going to access Jenkins is using this public IP address. 
and we need to connect to it so click on connect and uh, if you guys remember that is my key name as soon as you enter and then you got uh, the entire URL so let's copy this and let's go to our item so make sure you are in the downloads directory okay and then let's verify our key okay there you go as you can see here so today is what June 9th and this was this was the key what we have downloaded and when you see here it has both uh, you know read and write but uh, if you see here as per the instruction we have to make sure that the key has only what read only access okay so let's copy this command so I'm gonna say chain mode or we can directly type and then let's give that okay there you go so now it has only read only perfect all right so we change the access uh, to the private key and then let's go ahead and then copy this command and then let's enter that no it's supposed to be dot form okay let's copy that okay yes go guys now I'm actually connected to virtual machine running in Azure cloud so let's go back to the instructions okay so let's do a couple of things here let's ch uh, change the host name so I change the host name if you wanted to see whether it is changing or not log out and then sign back again there you go so it got changed perfect so now let's start with the update since it is a new Ubuntu which, which we just provisioned Let's perform update just to make sure that it has all the latest uh, software updates. And then what we are going to do, since Jenkins is a Java based application, so what we have to do, we have to install Java. So let's start installing Java. So Java installation is done. Let's quickly check the version, perfect. And then let's go ahead and then install maven as well because we are going to use maven for performing any java builds on the jenkins machine okay perfect so maven also got installed and then let's start with the jenkins setup so if you're wondering how do you get this instruction right it's pretty straightforward you can actually go to google and then you type install jenkins on ubuntu 20.04 and then if you just say jenkins it will directly take it to the Jenkins website. I can show you right now. So there you go, you see here, Jenkins.io, and you click on Debian or Ubuntu, there you go, you see here guys. So this is the instructions for us to configure Jenkins. Okay, so that's exactly what I have over here as well, okay? So we just need to download the keys from Jenkins website. So that should take care of it and then we are going to perform this command in order to append you know the Debian package repo address to the Ubuntu there you go and then of course you can see that file entry here there you go you see here right and then we have to perform sudo apt update and then once this is done and then we can go ahead and then install Jenkins so that's it right so that should take care of installing Jenkins awesome so Jenkins got installed so let's quickly check um, whether it is up and running or not let's go to VM and then go to overview get the public IP address go to the browser and then the default port number is 8080, colon 8080. Okay, so this is not coming up. So, so let's make sure we have opened up port 8080. I think we did not. There you go. Do you all see here? So we have to open up port 8080 in the inbound security rule. So let me destination portal 8080 and then you, you select the protocol as TCP and then click on add that's it so it's going to take some time for the firewall rule you know to show here let's see it says that it has created but let's see here yeah 
here you go so we are able to see it now so let's go to the browser and then click on refresh and then of course while it is waiting you can also access Jenkins whether it is running on port 8080 there you go you all see here so I did curl command so we are able to see it is coming up in the local machine but if you want to access from the internet uh, we need to have that firewall rule open which we did so still taking some time so we got our page and then what we have to do is whenever you set up Jenkins for the very first time the password would be the initial admin password would be at this location so let's perform cat command let's get that password go ahead and then paste that over here click on continue we don't have to save it check that so now it is asking us which plugin to install I would go ahead with the suggested plugins because you know Jenkins have so many plugins uh, you know which it would use in order to uh, connect with the different different tools and uh, different different applications so this will take again a few seconds to install all the suggested plugins All right, so the plugin got installed. Let's go ahead and then set up the initial admin user. So I know this is just for demo, but in a real time scenario, you would be, uh, again, I wanna give some random email address. In a real time scenario, you would be integrating with Active Directory or OpenLDAP and whatnot, so that you can use your uh, network credentials in order to log in into Jenkins. But just for our demo purpose, I'm just creating this username and password, okay? So click on save and continue and then click on save and finish. So that's it, right? So that's our Jenkins guys. All right. Thank you for watching the video.